bad meaning because you know despite the fact if you got cheated on before or if your partner just isn't the right one for your relationship does not justify uh cheating in the place of getting revenge because that makes you no better than that person that you don't want to be you know and not only that but somehow it seems to be like an obsession that takes over you because the new relationship you go in you suddenly feel this urge to you know resist temptation to cheat again because it just drives you i don't know i don't know why i've done it once and i've been wanting to like cheat sometimes uh and I, I had to question myself, like, yo, what's wrong with me? Is this really healthy? Like, is this what you want? Like, why are you like this, you know? I um I can understand where you're coming from. And, you know, since I feel like nobody else is going to debate this topic, I have to, you know, of course, play devil's advocate and, you know, argue against y'all. So, in my opinion, I feel like cheating is good. Katie, there is a dude that wants to go up for cheating is good. Wait, okay, I, I'm going to I'm gonna do this first. Okay, so cheating is good. Um, because it encourages character development and it makes pretty people in the world. For example, um, let's say you cheated on an ugly girl. What do you think that ugly girl is going to do? Go up. What do you think that ugly girl is going to do if you cheat on her? She's obviously going to, you know, uh, level up. and She's going to level up. She's going to try to, she's going to become prettier, wouldn't she? Mm-hmm. All right, so now that we established that cheating causes glow-ups, um, what if you were cheating on someone in an abusive relationship, you know? So, All right, yeah. that, that is understandable. Um, there are some exceptions to cheating when it comes to, like, feeling like you have no say in what you want from a relationship, you know? And, you know, being abusive does put a lot of fear, especially into women, and they, they feel like, you know, there's no escape, so they you know, secretly go out doing stuff with other men until they feel like they trust that person to then leave whoever is not treating them right. I, I understand. Okay, so, yeah, so cheating at the end of the day, you know, is a good thing. I mean, y- yes, I, I, what you said on your last point does make sense, but you got to also think of the option that, you know, you don't have to cheat to, you know, um, develop your own character, you know? That's yes, you why do. That's why that's why people become friends with benefits, you know, have sneaky links, um, kind right, of like so, look for opinions on things hey, that you're, people you're, like. Okay, so I have a question. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Um, do you know? Do you know what being absolute is? Uh, in a sense, yeah. Uh, so you know what being abs- you know exactly what being absolute is, right? Mm-hmm. I right, so. Uh, absolute is when you know your actual true. So, are you aware of the video game Fortnite? Yes. So, in the video, actually, no. Let me not. Okay, that's my secret point. I cannot. I can't bring up this point. I can't bring up this. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be my secret trump card point. All right. So, do you know that cheating cheating makes you an alpha male? Yes. Yeah. So, um, the reason why cheating makes you an alpha male is because um you're basically showing dominance in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Also, the people saying I'm joking. This is my actual point. But when you cheat, you know, it kind of makes you an alpha male. So if you don't cheat, it kind of makes you a beta male because you kind of humble somebody. And uh, if you didn't know, cheating, when you cheat on somebody, it kind of hires your rate of testosterone. Yep. And without without a man having testosterone, they convert to a more feminine type of lifestyle. Can you agree with that? Yes, I can. All right, so if you agree that, you know, men's testosterone levels have been going down an uh, awful a lot, it's because cheating for men has been going down. So mm-hmm. if you didn't know, the statistic of men cheating on women is a 30%, all right? And we're losing that. They're winning. The women are winning, and we cannot lose. So we have to maintain that statistic. Yeah. Well, I, I can see where you're coming from, too. I guess, I, really, at the end of the day, there cheating isn't bad or good. Let's be honest. There really is no good and bad here. It's like just cheating is something that we choose to do. And, you know, basically the whole point of cheating is to learn how it makes you feel and not do it again. I'm not saying it's wrong to humble somebody, but, you know, you don't want to you don't want your first relationship to be the only relationship you ever have. You know, you on wanna, and you got to cheat on them. You got to yeah. you got to show them. I mean, everybody does it at some point. Most, oh, God. Most, most people do at younger ages and whatnot. I mean, yeah, it hurts. 
and I, I don't, and I don't, I don't know what... to realize like girls aren't even loyal these days, so it's better mm-hmm. if you cheat on them than like I feel like when you when you're in a relationship, it's like a cheat battle. You know, it's whoever can cheat first. And because I always tell all these girls and all these boys that you're always gonna find a better girl, so why not just cheat? Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm not. It also comes down to like preference. I don't. I preferably don't like cheating because. I can't handle how it makes it how it makes me feel, um. But you know, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna resort to my feminine side because I always assert dominance no matter what. Like if I if I feel like something is wrong, I'm not afraid to call my girl out right then and there. You know, I've done it multiple times, and I've caught them in the act too, which is crazy. You see, and yeah, yeah, you're right, and that's why you know cheating. You know, I feel like you know cheating will always make you an alpha. Yep. I. Um, thank you for coming up. If you think cheating is bad, can you ping me? And you can... No, cheating is bad. Ping me if you think cheating is bad. <laughs>